Hey everyone, my name is Crocodile Death Speed. I'm a recovering crack addict, and this is my retarded sister. We'd like some thumbs up, please. <laughs> so, everyone's doing it, and uh, it kind of made me want to do my own. Actually, I wanted to do the same thing last year, the year in review. And, uh, yeah, I kind of started in February, and, and then I let it go because it was way too late. So, uh, this time, it's still the beginning of January, so the year in review, 2017 in review. Lots of things happened in 2017. Lots of stuff happened. There, there was a... Uh, um, some cool stuff, like, uh, we, the, the coalition, won a lot of decisive battles against uh, the Islamic State in Syria and in Iraq, and, uh, and ISIS is kind of dwindling, and that's really cool. Uh, what else happened that was cool? Uh, uh, Hellblade, the video game, got released, uh, an indie game that looks like a triple A that was pretty impressive and, and great for gaming in my opinion. What else oh, cool happened this year? I, I don't know what game are you talking about. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Hmm. It's a it's a game about a girl that is mentally ill and she has to go to hell to save her boyfriend. Oh, yes, something yes. Like that. Okay. Fine. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't play it because uh I got an old PC and I could only play That's old fun. games or, or games that have really simple graphics like, like Stardew Valley. Uh, but um, yeah, this is this was my most anticipated game of 2017, and as soon as I get a, a powerful ma enough machine, I am buying this game. This looks to me like it's the best game of 2017. Uh, the Switch. The Switch. Yes. The Switch got released. Uh, oh. I, yeah, I, I, I played um, Breath of the Wild. Actually, I played it on Wii U. And I, I, I gotta say, I really was not impressed. But I played for only two hours, so maybe I gotta try again. And, 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 and uh, yeah, the, the same thing happened to me with Majora's Mask. Uh, at first I played it, and I played for two hours, like, nah. And, and then I tried it again, and now it's like my favorite Zelda of all time. So, um, I, I thought the music was really, really different from the usual Zelda, and really brilliant. Uh, I was really hyped for Super Mario Odyssey as well. That's gonna be the three games that were that were released in 2017. I really want to play um, Hellblade, Mario Odyssey, and Neo. A lot of uh, mm. a lot of people told me that Neo was amazing and that it was great for uh, that, that. That I would probably love it. Of course, a lot of other really cool games this year. Cuphead. That I've been following for years since they first uh, showed it. I think it was in 2014. And I think it looks amazing. Um, Horizon? Horizon Zero Horizon. Dawn. Horizon. You Which, played Horizon yes, Zero Dawn. It's my one of my uh, favorite, favorite of the year. I'm a really mainstream person. But <laughs> it, it was really cool. That uh, Horizon is the reason why I, I buy uh, a, a PS4, actually. So... Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm it, pretty happy. Uh, it looks really cool. I, yeah, I really want to. I really want to try it. It is. Uh, what else? Uh, you bought the insane trilogy, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I love Crash Bandicoot. It's. I hate uh, it. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> it's one of my childhood game. Mm, uh, nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. And it's so hard. Like, yeah, I know. Not, not like getting over it. Uh, not like dark so hard. But it. Still hard, and I really enjoy play. Uh, yeah, play it sounds like a fun challenge. Yeah, it is. I I, I, I hate it. I think it looks <laughs> uh, revolting. <laughs> the, the whole the every the whole aesthetics, the style of the game. I think it looks really awful, but it's just not my taste. You know, she's playing Persona Five at the moment, which I also think yeah, I... looks absolutely <laughs> trash. It's amazing. It looks like well. It's just really beautiful. I think it looks like <laughs> trash, but you know, different strokes for different folks. Mm. And it was released in 2017. Yes. But, but I, you, you don't have an opinion yet because you barely started it. Yeah, it's uh, on uh, the beginning for now. I am on the beginning for now. Uh, what else? Oh, I'm being, I've been struggled to buy a Switch for the past few months. And I still don't know if I'm going to... Buy yeah, one? <laughs> I'm not sure either. It looks cool, but uh, if it was cheaper, maybe. 
uh, just a little cheaper, like 250? 20, 20 bucks. No, uh, I don't 280, know. 270. I will buy it without any hesita uh, without hesitation. But uh, 300, 340. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit for, expensive for yeah, what it is. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, there are, there are not many games on it that uh, seem cool right now. There's a. How do you buy? <laughs> yeah, but I have it on PC already, so it's not. Uh, there's Puyo Puyo Tetris that at least seems kind of cool, but not mind blowing. There is Mario Odyssey that looks a lot like uh, Super Mario 64, which is one of my favorite games of all time. So I really, really want to try it. I'm really hyped by uh, Breath of the Wild. Actually, she's really hyped yeah. for Breath of the Wild. So uh, that's something. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? That's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but it's basically the same Mario Kart as in uh, Wii U. So um, yeah, it's, it's cool, but not uh, not that much. It missed something. I have the feeling like yeah, to some, buy some, it, something, it's something something missing. missing yeah, yeah, clearly. Um, what else? Uh, Sonic Mania was released this year. I really wanted to try it. I think I'm gonna buy it pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, Cuphead. I think it looks awesome. But yeah. uh, gameplay-wise, it looks it looks a lot like uh, one of my favorite games, Metal Slug. Uh, not really mind blowing, but it looks it looks kind of fun. I really want. Uh, if it if it's on sale mm. uh, for a good price on Steam, I think I I I'll probably buy it. Maybe a let's play of two of us. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Why not? Uh, Near Automata looks pretty good and pretty fun. There's a game released this year called Snake Pass. Hmm. Uh, Snake Pass is a platform game, kind of like Mario or Crash Bandicoot or Sonic, but it's in every platform game, the basic mechanic is jumping. In Snake Pass, you cannot jump. Hmm. You, you're a snake, basically, and you gotta slither and uh, go around stuff. And so it looks really, I, I don't want to say original, but some fresh. Mm -hmm. It looks like something new. It's looked pretty well made. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I really, really want to try it. And uh, since we're talking about platformers, uh, A Hat in Time that was released recently, everyone is saying that it's amazing. And it, it, yeah, you, you are this little girl who gets superpowers when she puts on different hats. And it's kind of a, a platformer inspired oh. inspired by Mario and, and such. And it looks super, Never super, super, super fun. Okay. It was released on PC, I think, in uh, um, November. Hmm. Uh, something like that. And um, I think um, John Tron does a, a voice of one of the characters. Oh. So that's really cool. Yeah. And uh, I, I think... I'm not sure, but uh, what I know is that everyone who tried the game said it was uh, awesome, so I really, really want to try it. And okay. I think that's about wraps it up for video games. Video games did did I forget something? I don't, no, I don't think I, so. No. Uh, so uh, yeah, a really exciting, oh. really exciting year for video games. You forgot uh, The Sims 4, Cats and Dog. I know you hate The Sims, but Cats and Dog is so cute. <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> So cute. I know, well, we don't have the same taste, but no. Well. Yeah, so I think I forgot nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, a great year for gaming. And of <coughs> course, of course, we should not forget getting over it with Bennett Foggy. Yes, of course. And Super Flight, <laughs> my game of the year 2017, which I made a video about recently. Uh, both of these games were released at the end of the year, mm -hmm. but we should not forget about them. Uh, there's also Sonic Forces, which I was really hyped for at the beginning because it looks like it looked like uh, a new Sonic Generations, and it turns out it does. It's not really, but it still seems kind of fun. Not amazing, but you know, it seems like a solid six, maybe a seven. So I, I, I think I will, if it's on sale for really cheap. I'll buy it on Steam, maybe next year. I don't know, if I have a better machine. That that has been a kind of a problem right now for me. Oh. Of course we have the PS4. Of course. That's pretty cool. But on, on the consoles, the game are so expensive. Oh. There's not a lot of sales. Yeah, there's some, there are more sales that I expected, actually. So, okay. Yeah, really. So maybe. 
And uh, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it for, for, for video, video games. games. Next would be TV shows. TV show and movies. Uh, in the same... Yeah, maybe st we'll start with TV shows TV and shows. we'll go movies after. Okay. For me, movies will, will be really fast. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, TV shows. The, the year started with the series finale of regular show. An amazing finale for an amazing show. Uh, I, I love that show. I, I watched it since the beginning. I watched uh, every every season several times, and it's really one of my favorite shows of all time. It's it's uh, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Really, really, it's amazing. And the, the ending was really really well done. Yeah. I don't want to spoil anything, but, but uh, I cried so much. <laughs> she cried. She cried like, a lot. So and, uh, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, wow. Mm. That's all I can say. Um, what else for me? Uh, oh. uh, uh, for me, there is uh, The Handmaid's Day. The uh, Handmaid's Day. Yeah. Like, I, I did not watch it. What did you think about it? Oh my god, <laughs> that's awful. But that's a really good TV show. Like, the story, it's awful. It, it's make my heart break a little. But it's a, a, a really good TV show. I saw the first three episodes and... Uh, I was amazed and still it's a kind of black mirror feeling you see mm -hmm. like uh, ah, I like it but I don't want it to happen mm. you see and uh, yeah a really really good TV show okay uh, what else um, yeah there was the and Eric Andre show season 4 which I thought was disappointing. Uh, I'm a really, really big fan of the Eric Andre show, mm. but I didn't really like the the fourth oh. the fourth season. So that's it. Uh, I think it was not on par with the other seasons. Uh, season one is amazing. Season two is amazing. Season three is amazing. Season four, <laughs> yeah. no, okay. no, I, I didn't. I, no, I did not feel it. There was season three of uh, Rick and Morty, yes. which was released, which with I all, like all the all the shit around it that happened with the Szechuan sauce and all that. Uh, but I thought it was pretty good. But then ag again, uh, I thought it was not on par with season seasons one and two. And I thought it was yeah really not as good. Rick and Morty season one is amazing. Rich Rick and Morty season two is pretty great. Rick and Morty season three is okay, not bad, uh, but uh, not amazing. I like the plain feeling there is around the yeah. season really okay I, I get that it's it's yeah. true it's true it's uh, it's got a nice atmosphere but mm -hmm. i thought the plots were kind of weak oh. and uh less good dialogue and uh maybe a bit more i don't know maybe for me maybe the last episode was uh, um, weak but uh, the rest of the show the rest of the season was uh, pretty good for me but i like the yeah. pissing stuff so <laughs> There were some cool moments, but in my opinion, not enough fun and too much uh, intellectual wankery. Maybe. So, uh, have to be yeah. Really, uh, you, you have to have a really high QE. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. To be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Uh, oh, um, well, for me, there is um, yes. season two of. Um, the good place. Uh, oh yeah, the thing that is in heaven. Yes. Okay, yeah. And which we uh, the um, it's by the creator of Pax and Rec and Brooklyn Nine Nine, huh? and oh. it's one of my uh, the both of it is is are one of my favorite TV show ever, Pax and Rec and Brooklyn Nine Nine, and uh, the good place is a really really good TV show too, uh, really funny, really inventive. Uh, like not something I ever see before in that, a TV show. That is really something I should watch. That's that, that is on my to watch list. And um, yeah, if you want to watch it again, we we can watch yeah, it together. Of it seems fun. And um, I didn't see Parks and Rec, and I know some of you will hate me because of that, but I will see it in my time. Um, and um, I really love uh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. So. Um, Maybe. Maybe. This seems fun. Yeah. What else? Oh, Kirby, your enthusiasm is back. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty funny. Larry David is still at the top, top of his game. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. So, um, 
that was that was really cool. What else? We had some pretty good Adventure Time episodes. Mm -hmm. Doctor Who was still okay, not great. We don't have any season of Doctor Who, I think, this year. Uh, yeah, we had a whole, really? uh, a whole season. Season 10? It was this year? Huh. Okay. The whole season with, oh, yeah, the, whole season with the yeah, black yeah, yeah. girl? Okay, yeah, I remember that was this, this year. year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, sometimes things things happen and, and they feel like it's yeah. the, the distant past, but they, yeah. they aren't. Uh, what else? Uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, season 3, which is... Um, uh, <laughs> a song TV show. A M musical? A musical TV show. Okay. A really, really cool musical TV show. And <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> there is a, a heavy boobs song. Heavy boobs? Oui, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I think that's, that about wraps it up for TV, mm -hmm. for the, the, the main stuff. I, I, I don't remember anything else big happening well, this year in TV. Uh, the second season of Stranger Things, I didn't watch it. Uh, uh, no, I didn't even watch the first season. Everyone around me tells me that it's mediocre, so I, I'm not yeah. even trying. Game of Thrones, of course. I don't watch Game of Thrones. I do, but nothing to say about it. Nothing to say about it, so yeah, I think we wrapped it up for TV. Uh, then... Movies. It's Movie. gonna be really, really <laughs> fast for me because I literally did not see a single film released in 2017. Zero. Uh, there were a few that I really wanted to see. Uh, there was Baby Driver. Uh, everyone told me that it's amazing and it's f by one of my favorite directors, Edgar Wright. So I really, really want to see Baby Driver. Uh, the new Blade Runner uh, looks really good. So I want to see that, and there was a third, and I forgot. Uh, uh, oh, of course, the Disaster Artist, yeah. the film about the room and Tommy Wiseau. Uh, so I, I I I will see that when they are available on streaming, I guess, because I'm not too much of a cinema person. I prefer staying at home, and um, yeah, I don't really like the cinema. I think the chairs are always uncomfortable, and uh, the popcorn is too expensive and not really good so um, I think it's better to see at home you can you can pause it and and rewind it and all that I don't I don't really like watching films uh, mm. from beginning to end w without stopping I, uh, I I like to have breaks and you can have that at the cinema so cinema sucks in my opinion and uh, that's it for me movies 2017 uh, I saw zero so uh, you're going to be the star of the movie section. Yeah, I saw a few movies this year, uh, but I'm just going to talk about two that I really, maybe three, that I really like. Uh, the first one is La La Land. It was uh, amazing. That, that, that's all. I really like a uh, um, musical movie and it was just beautiful and cute and, <laughs> and uh, the... Uh, I uh, listen the OST all the time and I look kind of stupid talking about it but it was amazing so I don't have anything to say and I really like the end um, and the second one is a French movie uh, because I'm French and uh, it's uh, 120 battements par minute uh, 120 BPM. BPM in English, but I don't know if it came out in uh, United States. And um, uh, it was an intense movie, really hard to watch, but uh, really, really hopeful, I, I think. Uh, and uh, to understand what we what we have to do to have some really stupid stuff now like condom uh, in the street and uh, people who uh, oh, yeah, the vending machines yes and people who yeah that uh, seems like that seems like basic stuff yeah now it seems like basic stuff but it was we not. had one in my high school yeah 
though. That was a long time ago. Mm. And uh, why? Well, yes, it was a really was... good movie. Okay. And uh, maybe quickly the third one, uh, Get Out, and uh, really fun. Weirdly fun, but really fun. Oh and, yeah, it's uh, it's really wacky. Yeah. And uh, really yeah. I really like it. I okay. know not everybody, but I really like it. That's all for movies this year. Um, what's next? Oh, sorry, Wonder Woman was pretty bad. Not really bad, but just nothing to say. I hate superheroes, and uh, I hate even more superhero movies, so I believe you. <laughs> um, what else happened in 2017? Oh, we had a lot of great memes. Uh, we had... <laughs> Bone Hurting Juice, which was one of my which became one of my favorite memes of all time, and of course all that gravitated around it, like the powder that makes you say yes, and my very own very expensive milkshake, which now I have a my very own page on Know Your Meme, and I'm very proud of it. Um, Congratulations! Thanks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, what else? Uh, happened? There, there were a lot of. Um... Uh, where is my meme notebook? Where the fuck is my meme notebook? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, it's my job, you know? Um, yeah, uh, Born Hurting Juice was... Oh, that's not my meme notebook. Anyway, uh, there there were a lot of uh, good memes this year. Yeah. And it was a great year for memes. Yeah. There were a lot of shit memes too, like the guy with the salt that, that I hated. And um, some of some really divisive, like Elf on the Shelf. Personally, I thought it was hilarious, but a lot of people hated it. Yeah, I hated it. And uh, oh, a Smash Mouth. Yeah, but that's a kind of an old meme. Yeah, but okay. And uh, yeah, it kind of made a comeback, mm. though. It made a real comeback this year. Um, the, the, there were a, a, a bunch of other ones, like the... Oh, it was this year, because it was it was early, so I or almost forgot. But uh, in the beginning of the year, we had the Pee Pee Poo Poo Man, which, which was um, uh, about the, the, the Bye Bye Man. It was uh, so funny, I still laugh uh, about it. There was, of course, Food Machine Broke. Which was also one of the best memes of the year. Fucking amazing. Um, Horse War, obviously, from from late in in the in the year, and um, in the middle of the year there was kind of a drought. But uh, we oh. tried to bring back some uh, old memes, and hmm. eventually it worked because right now, January twenty eighteen, Serial Man is making a comeback. And that is pretty good. <sighs> yeah, a lot of shit memes too. Uh, but we, uh, I don't want to talk about negative stuff. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm not going to give any names. Um, hmm. We didn't talk about music. No. Uh, because, because, in my opinion, uh, 2017 was a really poor year for music. Uh, there were a bunch of old guys who released solo albums uh, guys that I usually don't really like their solo performances I, I'm thinking of Rick Wakeman I'm thinking um, Steve Hackett uh, a bunch of guys like this really solo albums and usually their solo albums are not really good so I didn't even bother listening to them uh, there was a new album by Tyler the Creator which I listened to and I already forgot it uh, completely uh, um, there was a new Kendrick Lamar that everyone yeah. everyone talked about it but I hate Kendrick Lamar so I I listened to it because I was curious and I didn't think you uh, yeah I hated it but oh. I always hated Kendrick Lamar so uh, that's not surprising at the uh, oh it was at the beginning of the year that Migos uh, Migos Migos uh, released Culture it was, uh, I liked it. 
I liked it a lot, uh, much more than I thought I, I would. And I, I thought it was a really fun album. Uh, Thundercat released an album also called Drunk that a lot of people talked about it. And I thought it was really boring. But apparently it was uh, amazing for a lot of people. And uh, uh, at the beginning of the year too, I think it was in January, there were two uh, two meme albums by meme people. Uh, the first one was Pink Season by Pink Guy. And Poopy? And uh, no, that was much, much later. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's that three. Uh, first was Pink Season by Pink Guy, and uh, it was, which was not bad. Um, I didn't really love it, but it was okay. And there were there was Mouth Moods by uh, Neil Cicierga that everyone said it was awesome, and everyone lost their fucking minds over Mouth Moods by Neil Cicierga, and uh, I also thought it was really boring. And for me, Neil Cicierga will always be that guy who drew the funny uh, Little Mermaid comic on Tumblr a lot of years ago when she fucks up and she has eight legs instead of two. And you, you probably saw it. You probably saw this comic with the uh, yeah, and uh, one of one of the staples of of uh, Tumblr memes. And uh, that's, in my opinion, his greatest achievement. Apart from that, yeah, there was a computer by Poppy, which was uh, which was nice. Not exactly the kind of music that I like, but it was okay. I like Poppy, and I'm, I am not in a cult led by Poppy. I want I want to say that I want to reiterate: I am not in a cult led by Poppy or Titanic Sinclair. <laughs> oh, before I forget, I this year I really liked one album. Savage Cynozoid by Igor, his first studio album in, I think, five years. I don't think he's exactly as good as his old stuff, but almost as good. And it, it, it feels really good to have a new release by Igor, who doesn't release albums often. It's, uh, it's a really, really good album, and it's my album of the year, even if there was not a lot of competition. And yeah, as I said... I did not like a lot of albums this year. Did you like a lot yeah. of albums this year? Well, uh, I loved Ken, uh, Dan, uh, Ken, uh, okay. Kendrick Lama uh, album. Okay. Uh, but uh, I'm not really good with uh, name, so I don't remember every artist <laughs> I like. <laughs> so uh, That's going to be hard to make playlists. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a new stuff, a really new girl is Angel, and she... Uh, she has only one song, and I really like it. In... She has only one song, yeah, folks. Yeah, only one. And uh... <laughs> I know you make it fun of me, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> because it's fun. And um, it's called uh, La Loi de Murphy, and it's really a really funny song, really happy too. Um, and uh, the the music video is really good too, and uh, I, I really like it. So if you want to listen it, uh, do it. It's a really nice song. That's all for me. That's all. Okay, so really a really poor year for music. So. <laughs> no, I love a lot of stuff, you, but you, I don't you remember said literally the name. Three. Yes, but I don't oh, remember. Oh, but you the forgot name. the names. Yeah. Maybe you can whistle. <laughs> No? no. Okay, so uh, for music, uh, well, fuck it, I guess. And uh, <laughs> what else happened. happened in 2017? Something important happened this year. Ethan and Hilla Klein won their trial. Yes! And it's a huge win, uh, not only for them, but for fair use, for the whole internet, against copyright abuse, and, and all these people who, yeah, who kind of use copyright law and DMCAs. Kind of to uh, be bullies, basically, hmm. on uh, on other people. Copyright bullies. Copyright bullies, yeah. Just like Sonny. Who? Sonny. Sonny, oh yeah, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sonny, yeah, Sonny, Sonny Music Entertainment. They're called SME on the, on, on the, the papers. Here in Paris, there was uh, this huge and beautiful exhibition about uh, Christian Dior. Christian and Dior, oui. It was com 
completely amazing and it blow my mind really and uh, it end uh, in a few days so I'm sorry but it was amazing and I'm really happy to, <laughs> to see it uh, maybe if you have some pictures we can put them in the, in the video uh, yes I have my, my mag magazine Magazine? Hmm. You, do, you don't you didn't take pictures? Oh uh, my! I don't have battery. I forgot to charge my phone. You forgot to charge your phone yes. battery. Yes. Again. Again. <laughs> okay. What else? Uh, for me personally, it was kind of a year of shit. Um, lots of health problems. Um, and uh, the, the weather was really cold and I, and I hate cold weather I hate snow and it's new and I hate that and uh, it was not really nice I was sick for half of the year and uh, even, if, even if I'm better now I feel like I've, I've lost just wasted a lot of time being sick and uh, yeah. and bedridden you know and also, uh, also, you had a lot of health problems yeah. and you were in a hospital and several times because yeah. of your lungs and stuff. Lung. Yeah, and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay, so we are not going to talk about it, apparently. <laughs> and uh, we, we lost uh, oh, several pets. Yeah. Lots, lots of losses this year. Uh, one of our uh, oldest and uh, two young, which is worse. Because yeah. the, the the old one died of old age, which which is not really, and really sad. Peaceful. Yeah, yeah, he died in his sleep, and that was that was nice. And the other one's uh, kind of brutal illness. And at, at the end of the year, a uh, fourth one became sick, and he's he's on his way out right now. And it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the it was the year of illness and, and sickness. And uh, I hope we will have more health yeah, next this, year. Yeah. And, uh, and and I and I hope, you know what? I'm not saying I hope I I, I get more money. I hope I get the same amount of, of money because of, of hmm. last year uh, with all the internet business and all that shit, I made about 10k, which for a lot of people will seem uh, low, but for me it's the I, I for me it's the, it's the best thing ever in my life yes yeah, really cool and um, yeah I spent about uh, 6k reimbursing debts that I had and 6k I spent on food because I have a problem uh, with, we have a problem we, we have a <laughs> it's problem. okay but, you, uh, we take care of it <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, for me 2018 will be the the year where I try to tackle my food problem uh, and I actually I'm, I'm writing a video about it right now so uh, I mean not right now but uh, I have started a few days ago and um, so uh, so that's minus 2k that I, that I had to uh, pay from my savings and for, for everything else I did not have money at all for uh, it was basically a, a year what about, about food and and, uh, and and pay the uh, pay the bills like the internet and and all that and and no, I bought like one shirt, and uh, well, a, a few video games that were on sale for uh, for a couple euros. A few shirts on QWERTY. Yeah, <laughs> but basically, uh, yeah, basically, I did not have a lot of uh, fun budget. Yeah. And um, next year, uh, well, I, I reimbursed most of my debts. So next year, if I make. The same amount of money, and I spend less on on f fucking burgers, and and I have less debt. So if I make the same amount of money, I, I, I will be much better off, and that would be nice. If if I can stay financially stable, yeah, that's all I'm asking for. And that's and, it. And, and health. health. And health. Yeah. And uh, staying hydrated. And love. And <laughs> I already I already have it. I'm not gonna wish for it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, health for, for me and the boys. And you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, talking about health, I, I have a weird favorite this year. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, my deodorant. And <laughs> I know it's a. Uh, yeah, it smells favorite. so good. Yeah. You like it, I like it. It's. I usually hate this kind of product. Everything. And. 
every perfume, cologne, all that. I, 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 I have a sensitive nose and these smells uh, feel aggressive to me. But this one is like so nice. <laughs> and it's a really good one, very, very efficient one. So uh, uh, maybe not cheap, not cheap at all, but really good. So love it. It solved one of my issues. So I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> weird favorite, I know. Yeah, uh, for me, my, my favorite would be uh, that thing over there that I used to uh, for my hair. Can you fetch it, please? Yeah. Uh, it's it's a new, uh, I, as far as I know, it's new. Uh, yes, it's and new. It's, it's uh, came it's, out this year. It's a really great product, especially the dyes. Uh, the bleach, in my opinion, is not great. The, the bottle is all weird shaped and it's hard to uh, to to make it and um, it's, not, it's not the bleach is not it, well it really works but the bottle and all that the, the kit is not really not ergonomic and uh, also yeah same for this same things for this uh, the the product is great but the, the the tube it comes in is absolute shit and you have to to I even if you squeeze it really hard I have really strong hands because uh, I used to play bass and shit for many years, so uh, even if you squeeze it as hard as you can, you cannot get all the product, you have to cut it open with scissors. But the product itself is really good, the bleach really works really really well, and the dyes are, look nice, you can mix them together, it always uh, gives great results, and it's cheap as fuck. And more color, please. And, uh, what? The, uh, the brand needs more color. The brand? The, the brand, it, uh, yeah, uh, there's no green, so I, I wanted to try green, but there's no green, uh, there's no yellow, I wanted to have a, a bright yellow, uh, 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 um, Pikachu yellow, but there's not either, but there is a great turquoise, uh, the purple is great, there's no, there's no real pink. Uh, that's, no. that's kind of sad. Yeah. So not a lot of great shows. Not, not a lot. Not a lot of choice of colors. But the colors that you that they have looks really nice. Yeah. They look really nice. They they um they don't uh, damage the hair. And uh, yeah, really cheap and easy to use. So um, that's a really great product. That's for me from my um, discovery of the year. And you look very nice with it. So <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, for me, maybe... Oh, my Kindle. Oh, your Kindle. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you read so many books on that thing? Yeah, really. I buy it in July and I read uh, 13 books. 13 books in half a year? Yes. That's uh, is that pretty good? <laughs> Especially for someone like me, I read one <laughs> book, this year. book in 2017. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's um, that that you gifted to me when you went to London in yeah. uh, in January. Yeah, so the uh, Hashen you, one. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Stuart Hashen, which is my favorite YouTuber, released a book a couple of years ago, and it's called uh, Terrible Video Games. You've probably never heard of, uh, and it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. I I plan to do a review on it. Actually, there's the volume two that was released a, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Mm. Uh, that that's called Attack of the Flickering Skeletons, and it seems uh, really funny too. Maybe if I go to if London, I, if, if you go to uh, England again, uh, yeah. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll I'll come with you this time. Yeah. I don't. I have um. I have kind of a, a negative prejudice about um, England and, and London and uh uh, and it's kind of reinforced by a lot of people that I know who live in London and, and who always tell me, don't come to London, it's not fun, it's shit. Everyone I know who lives in London, I, I mean, I have, a couple, I have a few friends who live in, in England and in London and they all hate it. And they always tell me not to come because it's shit, apparently. Oh, okay, so they want kinda... to keep it to, uh, for themselves. No, I, I don't think so because well, it's... it's, it's uh, popular to yeah, tourists I know, but already. If you live in Paris, well there is known. no lot of difference with London. I have the feeling that when you live in Paris, it's just like you live in London, almost. Yeah, I think the the big difference is the street signals, the the the, the ball thing. Yeah! That you show me. Oh my God, the street signals are insane, but stupidly, stupidly insane. They serve different 
kind of signal to cross the street. Yeah. That's completely ridiculous. Nah, <laughs> like, yeah. and it's like, oh my god, a, <laughs> why? A big ball that a big blinks? Ball, it's weird. Nothing or... Oh, nothing. Yeah, nothing. And the third one, I, I don't remember. Yeah, it's just the, the road finished and you're like, oh, but what do I do? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Oh my god, but uh, London was really cool. Yeah, you went there in, in January? Yeah. And, and uh, what did you have? I forgot. Just uh, saw the architecture and, and visit some? Yeah, and some museum too. Okay. And uh, it was... Uh, what did you prefer? Um, the Victoria and Albert Museum, I think it's the name of the museum. It's uh, Nordico. Nordico, okay. So cool, like really so cool. I, I passed like three hours in it and it was really good. And there is Wi Fi everywhere. Oh, that's that's, cool. <laughs> that's amazing. Did you know that that used to be the case in Paris like a few years ago? Oh, really? Like in the parks, in the gardens, in, in the squares. And, and it then was it, too expensive, and, uh, maybe? No, I think there was too many technical problems yeah. and. Uh, it was too difficult to uh, to maintain, you know, tech support had to repair things all the time because they were, uh, uh, and, and now it, uh, I mean, technically it still is there, but it works like one day out of ten, something like that. And uh, But we are going to have uh, uh, 3G in all the metro uh, normally next year. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm saying next year. We're this in year? We're, this year, 2018. Oh, oh, even if the 13 line. Okay. Even in, uh, no. Probably not in the 13. <laughs> no, in the 13 line. That's really, you don't live in Paris. Really Parisian so. joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there is uh, 14 uh, lines of metro and uh, the 13th is, is well known to be uh, absolutely awful. Oh my god. Well, and, uh, just... Maybe one day we'll make a video about the, the Paris metro and uh, all, all everything that the, the, four, the line number 4 is always... It was really hot in, in there, and uh, all that shit. And the sauté is hot, stinky, and awful, and <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah. The 14th uh, stinks worse, I think. Yeah, uh, differently. It stinks differently. <laughs> anyway, um... What wh else this year? Um, uh, oh, I began to... Sorry, I began to... No, to take pictures of the... Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that fucking hipster here. <laughs> she she. Uh, did you buy it or did you, did you get it from your grandfather? I like get that? it from my grandfather. Uh, you know, uh, in the old times, <laughs> like in the Middle Ages, where we didn't have digital cameras, and there was this kind of uh, brown thing that rolled inside the camera. <laughs> she had one like this. And it's really cool. And I. Love taking pictures with it. To be fair, it's expensive, but really yeah, cool. it's expensive as shit. Yeah. The the brown tape thing. Yeah, and but and and yeah, the developing. Yeah, to, especially to, to developing have paper. But I have to admit that the pictures you take with uh, with it look really good. Hi. So uh, let's be fair. <laughs> Um, and maybe you want to tell us about the books you read this year? Because you read a lot. A lot, yes, but not a lot who came out this year. Oh. Um, I read two, my two first book in uh, English. The first tome of Harry Potter and the second one. And I never re read Harry Potter, so I'm really happy. To read it in English, uh, that's uh, kind of an, an, an achievement uh, for me. Yeah, because uh, about like two years ago, you basically did not speak a word of English. Yeah, maybe three years ago. Ma but, <laughs> yeah. No. Nah, two years two ago. Year, okay. Two years ago, you were, you, yeah, you couldn't understand nothing. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, you've made a lot of progress. You've made a lot of progress in two years, and uh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> and it's it's nice because now we we don't have to watch dub shows uh, uh, anymore, and sometimes even we can watch shows without the subtitles yeah. uh, more and more often, and yeah. and that is really cool. Even if uh, some of the joke I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's normal. And um, so books. Books. I, yeah, yeah. Uh, because we can we can also talk about our year. 
this video is going to be really fucking long anyway. <laughs> and really awful to cut, I think. I, I'm probably not going to cut a lot. <laughs> I, I don't care if it's one hour long. <laughs> it's only once a year. So, uh... Yeah, you do an hour long video only once a year. <laughs> um... <laughs> um, maybe this will be my only hour-long video of 2018. Ooh. I'm gonna finish my Shadow Man Let's Play soon, and I have decided to reduce the time to 30 minutes only yeah. per <gasps> video. One It'll probably be better. One of my favorite of the year uh, is uh, making my uh, uh, Christmas gift myself. Oh like yeah, DIY. DIY, and it was a challenge. But I love to do it, and uh, the result was quite good. Uh, my family like it, and I'm pretty happy to to do it. That was pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, this year I discovered G Fuel, mm. which was a really a godsend to me. Uh, I'm a person who uh, doesn't have a lot of energy, I spend a lot of time uh, in bed playing with my rats or video games or internet or not doing a lot of stuff. And uh, really G Fuel uh, helped me. Uh, it's, uh, it's basically an energy drink, caffeine based, uh, like, like Red Bull, but it's, it's powder so you don't have, uh, you don't have the, the bubbles of all the I, I I don't like fizzy drinks really uh, once in a while it's cool but if I if I gotta drink them uh, all, every day it's uh, it's not good for me I don't like the cap carbonated beverages and so uh, and it's there's no sugar in it so basically no calories and it really wakes you up and there is contrary to uh, every other drink I've, I've tried even coffee there is no crash at the end. You know when you when you when you take an energy drink and you you have an, er, an energy and suddenly pfft, this does not happen with G Fuel and it's great for um, brain clarity and concentration. Another thing that I have issues with. So um, I, it's cheap, really, because I I spend like uh, the same amount that I used to spend on on coffee, uh, on on G Fuel. It's like less than one buck per day. And, uh, yeah, the only thing that I'm not thrilled about is the taste. Kind of tastes like medicine, but you get used to it. And there are some flavors. Uh, there are some flavors that are pretty good. Uh, fruit punch is good. Blue ice is good. Coconut's pretty good. Grape is okay. Green apple is okay. And, yeah, there is a lot of flavors to choose from. That also is pretty cool. So sometimes I, I buy the little packets so I don't get bored. And uh, and I and then I buy tubs of my favorite um, uh, flavors, especially blue ice, which was really my favorite so far. Um, was I, so yeah, that was great. I was gonna talk about the book I read this year. Do it. And uh, there is a French one. I'm sorry because I, I talk a lot about French stuff, and I check and it did not exist, uh, it don't exist in English, but it's a... Maybe it's gonna be translated yes, sooner or later? Yes, because it has a lot of uh, success, actually, in French, and uh, it, it's, it's called uh, La Passe Miroir, and uh, it's been a while since I read uh, fantasy, fantastic books, mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy it, really, because I have the feeling that it's always the same story with the same kind of characters and the same kind of universe, and... For the first time since a really long time, I discover a whole universe, which was really interesting and amazing to watch. No, uh, sorry, to uh, to read. Read. To read, and the characters are really cool. Not. Uh, not caricatures. Yes, not caricatures at all, and the they serve. Uh, three books and I buy the first tome to my mother and she liked it too so <laughs> it was a really nice book to uh, to read and that's because of this book that I buy my Kindle because I oh. don't want to wait to <laughs> buy the new one so I buy a Kindle on Amazon and I read the 
the two book of the series on it. What kind of fantasy it is? Medieval fantasy or no, no, modern? It's, no, it's science fiction maybe. No, it's completely uh, new, like it, it, like Harry Potter basically, like it's uh, it it happens. No, not at all. It's like, not in our time. We don't know. It's a new universe, new world. Oh, room. okay, I get it. Not uh, health, not uh, not token stuff, not Harry Potter stuff. It's a new one. Kind of like Narnia, maybe. Maybe I don't know if you know um, a Miyazaki uh, movie. Uh, yeah, I'm not into anime, but uh, I have seen. A couple. And uh, there is a Miyazaki vibe in it. Uh, okay. But uh, if you can read it, just do it. It's a really good one. And maybe just like me, it's uh, you're gonna read more because of this book. So it's... Win-win. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. For me, 2017 was kind of the year where I, I uh, go back into the classics that I've missed because basically from uh, the middle of my teen years up to the, my late 20s, I've been what I would say a really hipster doofus and I have completely avoided 99% of mainstream stuff. And so I, I've missed a bunch of classic stuff that, uh, uh, and uh, I, I really wanted to 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 watch, read, uh, listen to more stuff that uh, just to have the reference by curiosity, or you know, for many reasons, I avoided the things, and for many reasons, I I delve into them now. So I started with video games. Actually, in the past years, I, I've played. Um, some games that ended up being my favorite, like The Wind Waker yes, or so Half-Life cool. 2, which became my favorite game. Wind Waker is awesome, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Twilight Princess was really disappointing, in my opinion. Uh, what else did I What else did I play recently that were really classic games? Um, you uh, played Doom? Dark Souls. Dark, Dark Souls. Souls, which also ended up being my, my favorite. I did not play Doom. Oh. I know oh, you I never, watch a lot of let's yeah I watched, YouTuber talking I, about Doom. I, I watched I watched a bunch of videos about 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 Doom yeah, but uh, the new one I I never played any Doom. That's gonna be one of my things that I have to do in 2018. Play Doom, and it's especially weird since uh, when I was a kid, I had Wolfenstein 3D, which was made by the same guys, and uh, was right before and it's the same kind of game as uh, one of very early FPS. And uh, I think it's from '92, and Doom is from '93, so uh, next the, the one year difference. And I, I really loved um, uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Also, what I played this year, uh, or maybe uh, in 2016, was uh, Duke Nukem 3D, uh, another classic that I really, really loved. Uh, Serious Sam, which was pretty cool. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Postal 2. Amazing! Um, uh, Worst video game to sleep ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't have to sleep while I'm playing video games. You, you know? don't have to play video game while I'm sleeping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, and uh, I'm talking about games, but n not only games. Uh, I, I watched a lot of classic movies too, uh, that everyone was always referencing, and I was really curious about. Um, B movie, the Jerry Ooh. Seinfeld. Uh, it, it sucks. It's just, there is one joke. <laughs> there is one funny joke in the whole movie. The joke is really, really funny though. But <laughs> I did not <laughs> expect it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the B movie kind of sucks. But I, I'm glad to to have watched it. So uh -huh. now I have the reference and the memes and all that. Mm -hmm. I watched Shrek for the Shrek for the first time this year, and yeah, it also was not really good. But <laughs> Can you say that? It was. It was so Shrek. <laughs> it was not really. There was uh, there was a lot of kind of communist overtones and double text in in the dialogue, which I didn't really like. Um, and and the jokes themselves were kind of basic and not really but not really basic like like really really you know kind of half and half and it was uh 
not you really saw, good, but not really uh, bad. The, um, the really bad movie, like the best bad movie. The Room. I watched The Room this year. And uh, yeah, well, uh, that's really not what I expected. <laughs> uh, I did not expect that much violence, man. <laughs> And, uh, I oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect it to be as shitty as it is. It's literally much worse than I expected. It's amazingly bad. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm glad I watched that. Uh, what else? Oh, I watched Angry Video Game Nerd, the movie. And Ashens. And, yeah, the Ashens movie, too. Mm. The Ashens movie is bad. Mm. Like, there is a couple of good scenes, but the movie is bad. Mm. Sorry, the, the, uh, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> there is really good acting in mm. the movie, I gotta say, but the the pacing is all wrong, and and the plot, uh, I I'm, I guess the plot is really serious, but the the dialogue is all over the place, and it's kind of a movie that fails to really find its tone. It tries to be serious, but it tries to be funny. Exactly the same problem with the FEGN movie. The, mm. the Angry Video Game Nerd movie, exactly the same thing. It tries to be serious, but it tries to be re really wacky, and it fails to find its tone between one and the other. They did not really choose a direction. They both lack a real sense of direction. I know what we uh, forget. Our best YouTuber, YouTuber of the year. Best YouTuber of the year. I discovered a lot of YouTubers this year. Uh, there is one that uh, really, n not not only one, but there's th yeah. I, I would say there's a bunch that really surprised me. Uh, there's this uh, there this this kid. It's really young. Uh, he's called uh, Scott the Woz. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he does a video game um, commentary, like kind of like uh, kind of like John Tron, basically. And uh, he's he's really good in my opinion. It's really funny. And especially since he, he, he seems like uh, he's like uh, really really young, uh, it's really good at what he does. Really, f yeah, really funny. Really, that's that's it. There's another one uh, that does video game stuff. Uh, I think 2017 is really the game, the year where I got really really into video games. I did not play a lot of video games during my 20s. I used to play a lot when I was a child. Mm. And uh, then during my, my 20s, I played maybe three games, like maybe one game, less than one game a year. And uh, yeah, I installed Steam in uh, and it two, two or three years ago. And, and yeah, I bought... And you became a nerd, actually. <laughs> uh, maybe not a nerd, <laughs> but... How many games have you in your Steam account? Uh, three, How much? 350, something like that? Mm -hmm. 300. Maybe 400. Maybe 400. <laughs> but I, I have played only about 80 <laughs> of them in three years. So, so that's not uh, huge. You spent money in the 2017 in uh, Bet. Yeah. Burger. Yeah. And Steam. Yeah, but I, I spent about 100 bucks during the whole year mm. my, that because was my really cheap. that was my video game budget because there were, yeah there was a lot of really cheap games on sale and anyway i can i cannot really buy triple uh, a games because my pc is too old so uh yeah uh, yeah my whole video game budget for 2017 was 100 so uh that's not that's not a lot uh, also i bought uh, super mario 3 and my 3ds mm. i had the last lots of fun with it this made me really Really want to try a Sparrow 3 World on the Wii U. And, and we were talking about our favorite YouTubers. Yes. We were getting sidetracked. Uh, yeah, I discovered a lot of really cool YouTubers this year. Wow. The, this guy that you showed me. Oh, uh, yeah. The, Jap the Japanese the dude <gasps> with his cats. He does amazing things. Yeah. And uh, he does... Uh, really amazing uh, things. I don't, I don't remember his name, but... I got my list here. For me, f uh, the YouTuber of the year. It's not really a YouTuber. It's like I watch a lot of a lot of beauty stuff in YouTube for the past three or four years, and I have the feeling to waste a lot, a lot, a lot of time 
doing that because I don't buy so much stuff, I'm not a makeup artist, I don't do that kind of stuff and I in 2017 I, I stopped progressively watching so much girl talking about, about makeup and uh, now I have only maybe three or four girls that I follow who talk about makeup instead of maybe 20 or, or and, 25 so uh, and now instead you watch the sims let's plays all the time no no i don't i watch only one girl about who talk about the sims. really only one um, I, I maybe i watch more tech video with you than sim stuff okay <laughs> okay i be, I, I believe you um also this year uh of course it's we dis we discovered what also this year, of course, we discovered like probably you discovered too uh, this channel called Binging with Babish. Oh yeah! Food channel, which is amazing. So good. Uh, it's kind of a throwback um, to uh, early YouTube because the some of the first stuff I subscribed to, I mean literally the first channel I, I subscribed to when I got on YouTube uh, eight years ago was Epic Meal Time. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, yeah. And food channels have always been important to me on YouTube. There's been a lot of cool stuff. In every Brothers Green Eats, Nerdy Nummies. Uh, I, there's another one that I'm forgetting right now, but I'm even uh, subscribed to Gordon Ramsay's YouTube channel, which is uh, uh, actually kind of pretty good. And um, oh, I like uh, YouTube uh, food YouTube channel this year too. Hangover Quiz in. Uh, which is uh, yeah. French YouTube channel, but easy French and really French, really Parisian, really <laughs> like you can't do more French and Parisian that and maybe hipster than this channel. Not hipster, bobo like. Challenge accepted. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, uh, binging with Babish, amazing channel. You probably know it because it's like channel of the year. Uh, it went from zero to one million uh, in like nine months, something so like good that. <gasps> and it, yeah, it's, it deserves it. It's uh, uh, amazing. And uh, um, I cannot help but notice that uh, YouTube still doesn't have a food or cooking category in the in the videos. You have a lot of stuff like you have pets and animals, you have education, you have comedy and entertainment. Two separate categories, but uh, not food. And comedy and entertainment kind of are the same thing, kinda. But there is no food, there hmm. is no cooking, there is no what the fuck YouTube. And um, what 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 else uh, I discovered this year? Oh, another video game YouTuber called Nakey Jakey, uh, which is kind of he, he kind of has a Timonic feel to his videos, and it's really he has really strong personality. And he's, he's, he's funny, but also he makes great videos, well, well researched. Uh, he made one about uh, why video game uh, cover art is becoming more and more shitty year after year, and he made a oh, great yeah. he made a great impression on me. It was a really good video. Uh, he made also a, a really really good video about a skateboard game uh, from the late nineties, but not Tony Hawk, uh, a Thrasher something. Uh, I mean, uh, he made a lot of really good videos this year. He also makes music, and he, he released uh, some really good tracks uh, this uh, this year. So Nike Jakey, uh, he deserves more subs. He's really, really great in my opinion. What else did I discover this year? Um, John Tron basically made a comeback. Mm. There was this amazing flex tape video, really, really funny, and and the one about the people uh, doing sports, I think. That was funny too, well, was but, but flex tape was basically the video of the year. Mm. And uh, um, what else? Oh, uh, yeah. the first we feast. Uh, first we feast TV show. Yeah, Which I think I already watched that in twenty seventeen, uh, uh, twenty sixteen. Maybe. Uh, but I discovered it in twenty seventeen, so it's my. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially uh, hot ones the, yeah. when they oh. eat the. The spicy wings with our people, and 2017 was the the, the spicy food year for us. Yeah, we 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 started getting uh, we started becoming chili heads, 
and eating uh, more and more spicy and, and eating stronger and stronger as um, hot peppers. Because we discover uh, three uh, yeah. restaurants. Yeah, yeah, th uh, restaurants in the in the city that are pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah, uh, and uh, there are five level, and level one is hot, like really hot. Level one is really hot, and it's really good. It's really hot and really good too. So yeah, the food is really good. It's it, from, uh, it was a, a good experience. Actually, it's a re it's a restaurant from the region of Sichuan, the mm. same uh, region the Rick and Morty sauce comes from, but uh, the, yeah, really really good food. And, um, and really, really hot. Yeah. I think I go to third max. The yeah, third level. Uh, level two was the was the <laughs> barely edible for me. Like wow. Um, what else this year? Oh, for, sorry for the record. Uh, the name of the restaurant is uh, deux fois plus de piment, trois fois plus de piment, and uh, cinq fois plus de piment. If you want to check. What else? Oh, uh, not a new channel, but uh, um, Kevin Lieber or Vsauce Two. Uh, I al I always thought that Vsauce Two was kind of weak mm. compared to Vsauce One and Three, but he, this year he made a lot of amazing videos, and now he's kind of, in my opinion, he's risen to the top. Uh, he's at the top of his game. Oh. Uh, the video on scapegoats was amazing. Uh, the uh, um, uh, a bunch of other ones. What? Uh, this was one. Um, minefield. Minefield. I think it sucks, but she I li like it. she liked it. Yeah. I mean, it's it, maybe um, it's a bit strong, but I don't really think it sucks. But it's kind of this uh. American style with all the dramatic music and and the cuts and uh, it's not it's it's not what I like mm. and uh, you really hate TV. Yeah, I really yeah. hate it. That's why I watch you. That's why I watch YouTube because I hate TV. Yeah, well, I watch YouTube. I don't watch TV, but I don't hate TV. I, I still okay. like some some show uh, who came from TV. And yeah, Minefield is really TV. Yeah, and that's why I think it sucks. But I really like the social the sociologic experiment. Uh, yeah, it's it's not it's not a bad. Um, yeah, season two was uh, was uh, intense. Uh, yeah, the Japanese. Guy, mm -hmm. it's called Jun's Kitchen, G U N. And watch that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, his videos are. Uh, there's one video where he makes ramen, and <gasps> it's really simple. And you want to eat ramen. But also, he puts so much work on this. It's it's amazing, and it has really these cute cats that are always around in the videos. The knife videos. That's the videos yeah. that we discover it. Yeah. And he take a really old shitty knife. Well, we think it's a really old and shitty knife. And yeah, I think he, he bought it for like uh, one, a, a, one, a hundred yen, yeah. which is one dollar, yeah. uh, on a, he, a flea market or some shitty place. He take care of, of it. Yeah. Like really... No, he doesn't uh, buy it in a flea market. There is a man who uh, is outside the flea market and he sell it for one dollar because the flea market doesn't want to buy it for three dollars so he sell it for like one dollar to uh, the guy and so the guy take care of the knife really really carefully he do he does a lot of stuff to it and it became a really good knife and we understand that it's a uh, more than one dollar uh, one hundred uh, dollar knife and uh, it uh, just need to be taken care of it. Taken care of, yeah. Taken care of. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, of course. Uh, at oh, that's my channel. The <laughs> beginning of the year, there was uh, the the comeback after uh, nine years of lasagna cat. These guys who make the epic oh, videos about oh Garfield. My God. And they made a lot of insanely <gasps> good videos. Oh, four. oh my god! <laughs> there is one about the pipe strip, which is about one hour long, yeah. and I've watched it so many times. <laughs> and there is one, there was one that's like five hours long. And you and they, it they, long. they, it's, it's just a loop where they go to open the door and and read messages, but it's, it's not a loop. They really made it. 
and a lot of amazing <gasps> videos and oh, fucking okay. mind blowing. Yes. I love it. Oh, yeah. I don't want to think about it. Really love that. No. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stay in the past. Don't come back for. Yeah. I think it was pretty amazing. Yeah. I think it was worth it. <laughs> And yeah, it was in February, I think, something like that, or maybe March. It was, yeah, it was beginning of 2017. Um, um, I think that's about it. Hmm? Uh, oh, last YouTube favorite, our Let's Play. Our Let's Play? Yes. We are fa Yes. Yeah. That's one of my favorite stuff in YouTube, because I really like playing this game while doing the let's play it's really fun and that's the first time i uh, uh, do video so it's your first time making a video yeah it's my first time making life yeah wow okay that's something mm -hmm. and uh i think uh, we have talked about everything about 2017 yeah uh since the video is really long anyway maybe five minutes on uh, our hopes dreams and and projects for okay. 2018 okay i'm gonna i'm gonna start to say that uh, every year usually i take these fucking huge resolutions sometimes i uh what i usually do is i take a couple big ones and then a bunch of small ones you know and um, this time, this year, I'm, I'm taking zero resolutions. <laughs> I'm doing like George in Seinfeld, where he does the opposite of what he does usually. And uh, it makes him successful. I mean, I'm already kind of successful. But, uh, yeah, usually I take a lot of resolutions and I, I, I forget about them. Well, All you right. have love, you have rats, you <laughs> have a good job, you have... Beautiful hair and <laughs> well, beauty yeah. and stuff. So, so I think there's. I, I'm not taking any resolutions. Just some uh, wishes, some stuff that I would like to do. I would like, and I'm gonna try to exercise more in 2018. Me too. I totally forgot about uh, uh, about the diet. Uh, I'm not gonna do a diet anymore. That's, it doesn't work. It does. I gained weight. <laughs> I tried to do a weight loss diet. I gained <laughs> no. five pounds in a, in a month. That's uh, I'm making a video about it anyway. But uh, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. But yeah, it's, uh, no more diets, but more exercise. Yes. I would like to make more music in 2018. Uh, a couple, a few years ago, I had a lot of money problems, so I had to sell pretty much all of my instruments. Uh, probably this year, I'm gonna buy new instruments, a, a new bass, maybe some stuff like that. And I would like to, yeah, I would like to make more music in 2018. I, I'm going to try. And uh, I just shaved. Uh, and I'm going to try to not shave my goatee for the whole of 2018 and see how long it gets. Okay, I'm going to mm? shave you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. Well... I'm going to shave your hair. <laughs> Uh, so for me, I would like to be more creative this year. Okay. To do more stuff with my hand and with... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to be more creative this year. Do more... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to be more creative this year. I'm going to try to... Do more uh, stuff with your hands? No! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yes? Don't do that! Uh, some DIY! Some DIY stuff, yes! And um, I want to travel a little more. I was in London last year. I want to go to uh, Italy this year and maybe uh, North Europe with you. Yeah, maybe we're... Uh... Maybe we're going to do um, Amsterdam. Hmm? That would be cool. Uh, er er everyone is raving about Amsterdam. It's beautiful with the canals and all that. Uh, yeah, some, some, something not too far away. So maybe Amsterdam, maybe Copenhagen, maybe Barcelona. Maybe. Uh, I would like uh, Portugal. Portugal. 
I, well, I've, I have heard lots of great things about Portugal, especially about the food yeah. and the beaches. And, uh, and I heard they had the better, best olive oil in the world and that their food was really underrated. So I would really like to try Portugal. So more Europe travel. Like, yeah, it's obviously going to be Europe. Because, well, it's next door and it's kind of cheap now, yeah, so exactly. we should do it. Exactly. And uh, what else? Maybe Ireland. It's, it's, it looks beautiful. Maybe. 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 <laughs> and uh, if we really don't have uh, any money, uh, something like Luxembourg. Yeah. <laughs> Belgium. So, and uh, maybe more discipline in my life. Look at this stupid face. <laughs> more discipline in your life? Yes. And Consider it done. <laughs> because I'm kind of lazy, but I understand that. Kind of. Uh, uh, do the same, uh, the same thing every day. Uh, is um, so it becomes a habit. Yes, it's uh, it's good for me. I like it. It's really uh, uh, stressless for me to uh, do the same thing every morning or every night. So uh, maybe try to do it. Good. Yeah. Um, like the dishes. <laughs> like yeah, like the dishes. <laughs> I don't see how much time uh, we don't do all the dishes. I think what I'm gonna do is take all the dishes and throw them in the trash <laughs> so we don't have to wash them. And um, yeah, uh, I hope in 2018 we'll, we'll, we'll have finally the full spa, the full pack smartphone. Because uh, my I, I have um, a Galaxy S7, which is becoming really old. It's a rental, so... Uh, I gotta give it back in August, so by August I gotta find the perfect smartphone. There were a lot of uh, a great technology this year, yeah, in, in 2017. Wow! And uh, so, some a lot of amazing oh, phones. I'm... My computer. Oh, you yeah, you got the Surface laptop. Yay! Which is really cool. Microsoft Surface uh, products are, are mm. really cool. Mm. A bit overpriced in my opinion, but they're really good and the build mm. the build quality. Mm. The yeah, they're probably worth it, and it probably had a, a really long warranty anyway, and uh, a good um, you know, REM or whatever it's called R RMA. Uh, but um, yeah, there there have uh, there has been a lot of great smartphones, especially I'm thinking about smartphones because it's for me for for, uh, for my uh, work as well as for just having fun. It's my number one tool. I use my smartphone. All the day, all the time, I use it to 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 watch shows, to go on the internet, to listen to music, to talk to people, to take pictures, to make videos, and also for 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 all kinds of work. So uh, a smartphone is is uh, really really important. So probably the most important tool in my life. And uh, 2017, we had the LG V30, which was amazing, which with, with its uh, really really good sound. Uh, there was the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. Uh, there was the Galaxy Note 8, which was also impressive. And the Razer phone, which I thought was really cool, except uh, it had a shitty the camera. The iPhone. So, yeah, I hate Apple, so I don't <laughs> care. But, um, uh, yeah, and there was the OnePlus 5T. You almost bought the OnePlus 5T. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so if, if, if there could be... A phone that was like the Razer phone, but with the same cameras as the the Pixel uh, Two. I would I would buy that shit. Uh, the 120 hertz screen that I dig that, and um, yeah 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 the the performance all that it seemed really really good the Razer phone, but it had a shitty camera, and I used the camera a lot, so uh, it's a no for me. But it I was. Really oh, I really don't understand this phone. Like I really. It don't. was really powerful. It was pretty cheap. It was six hundred. Mm. So compared to the Pixel Two, uh, that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, it had excellent screen. Uh, it was really, if really fast. Good, really good battery life. If you don't have a good camera. Really, really good battery life. When you have. You Some people just don't take pictures. And the camera is, was not that bad. Yeah, but have a good it screen was... and not a good camera. I'm sorry, I, I don't get it. Like, really, for, I, It's I for don't... playing video games and watching yeah, no, Netflix. Yeah, I know, but I... Video games, yeah, Netflix, it's... YouTube. The, the screen is... Me, nah. 
Anyway, I was really impressed by that. Oh, you know what I'm waiting for? The red phone. I think it's called the hydrogen. There is, you know, red, that brown that makes cameras that everyone mm, yeah, yeah, uses. Know, like, yeah. And it's used by uh, famous YouTubers as well as TV shows such as House of Cards. Um, and uh, they re are releasing a smartphone probably in the... F in the maybe it's going to be at CES. There's this big, big thing called CES, uh, which kind of, it's kind of like E3, but for technology. Oh, and yeah. it's like in five days, something like that. And maybe it's going to be revealed at CES. So I'm, I'm waiting for the red... Um, phone to be revealed i know what i waiting for in 2018 the uli platform in french with uh hulu. disney hulu platform yeah with disney and marvel and everything to just stay in bed and watch the whole universe <laughs> yeah like, clearly because netflix sucks more and more year after year it's... they they keep removing uh, our, our favorite shows all of every shows are, are gone from Netflix now. There's just a bunch of shit that I don't care about. There For is you, one. Maybe. There is one. It's Better Call Soul. I really, really yeah. love that show. Well, and I think that this year there oh, was the, the third new. season. Oh my god. Or, or fourth, maybe. The third. No, yeah, it was amazing. Mind blowing. Yeah, we forgot about that. This was amazing. Better Call Soul, one of the best TV shows yeah. ever made. It's 10 out of 10. Yeah. And, like uh, really, and it ended on a cliffhanger. So the first episode ended in a cliffhanger. All the episodes, yeah, ended. <laughs> yeah. But the first one ended in a cliffhanger that we don't know the the next thing. Ah, yeah, that's true. Last, uh, so, uh, next so, 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 yeah. I'm really, really excited for the next. Uh, this show has been perfect from beginning to end, mm. and I'm really, really excited for the for the next season. Mm. Uh, oh, also, there was a new season of Sherlock, which was. Okay. Not bad. Like, maybe Com too much. Compared to the old stuff, it was weak, but there was some really good moments. Though. Yeah. Uh, there were yeah, there were a lot of a lot of good moments, but overall weak. Where? Well. Um. And. Uh, so yeah, I wait for Hulu platform in yeah, Europe. Yeah, Hulu sounds and, great. Uh, they have all the things that we love. Uh, they have all the things that I love personally. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they have uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, they have Seinfeld. Book in nine, nine Yeah, they have all these great shows that are not on Netflix. So um, we're waiting for Hulu. They have been uh, bought by Disney uh, a few days ago. And uh, as Disney is a much more international company, we hope that they will bring Hulu to Europe and we'll finally be able to enjoy it because it looks like the best thing and so much better than Netflix. Oh, I know what I'm waiting for in 2018. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Camelot, uh, the movie. Oh, yeah. And it's... High Flash TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Camelot is like the best TV show of all time. You, and uh, if you never heard of it, you try to find a, a version with subtitles or anything because it's amazing. It's like this really... Uh, inspired by Monty Python, and it's kind of almost like if they make Discworld, you know, Discworld by Terry Pratchett, uh, in 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 TV show form. It's really inspired by the Monty Python and and probably by Discworld. It's really like um, uh, what uh, it's it's it's, a, it's a basically a sitcom, uh, but in the in the universe of King Arthur. So you have the Knights of the Round Table, you have the Wizards, you have the Dragons, all that. But it's extremely funny and witty with a lot of with a lot of jokes and the really really amazing dialogue, and it's really well made. And uh, and around season four, there is like this huge turn in direction, and suddenly the the show uh, became huge. Be <laughs> And yeah, and and it, and, it, and it went from comedy to a to a tragedy, and suddenly there are a lot of really serious episodes. But there are still a lot of jokes, kind of like uh, kind of like in Breaking Bad or House, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of tragedy, but there are a lot of good jokes. And uh, and, we and we're for waiting movie, for the movie that, see, that was announced uh, ten, ten years, years ago. ago. Ten years yeah. ago. <laughs> so so uh, we are waiting. <laughs> And yeah, 2018 will be the year where I continue my quest to watch all the classic things. Uh, one TV show that I really want to watch is Frasier. Uh, what? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I watched um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh the no, whole... that was the last year. Of... That, that was uh, uh, during the end of 2016. You're right. <gasps> yeah. But uh, yeah, I watched a lot of a lot of classic stuff from really from good. the 90s and 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 to the 2000s. And uh, what what video games am I gonna 
play I would like to play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl because everyone is always telling me that it's right up my alley. I would really like to play Doom. I would like because it's so uh, so much of a classic. I would like to play Breath of the Wild. Uh, maybe we'll buy a used Wii U if you find one that is really cheap. The uh, sale season is, be, is is starting in three weeks, uh, two weeks. So um, maybe they will. No. Maybe there's gonna be a really uh, cheap Switch. Yeah. Who knows? And uh, if we, if we buy your Switch, I'm definitely buying Mario Odyssey. Yeah, I'm gonna course. try it. Cool. And what else? Oh, I got Dark Souls too. Mm. I'm gonna try that. And uh, what else? A bunch of other games. A bunch of other classics. Oh, we wait for. Uh, what are we waiting for? Sleep. At the, this point, I you, just want, you want to go sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to say? <laughs> no. <coughs> no, but I'm kind of tired and I don't remember everything. We're basically finished anyway. Oh, so. The Last of Us uh, 2, part 2. Did you finish uh, the first one? No, I don't. I don't finish the first one. It looks kind of boring. No, it's not boring at all. But I didn't manage to play a lot, so I don't. Uh, I'm not used to the game. You see. In the same style, the Walking Dead games were good. Oh, yeah. You played that this year. There were the Telltale games, uh, I think. Really, and, uh, really good. Basically a point and click. I think the third oh, cool. season uh, came out this year, but I only played the uh, two first season, and it's a it's really good game, like a zombie game, but not like zombie game. It's a really, really good game. Okay. Um... Yeah, uh, what what did I buy? And I I'm gonna try Day of Defeat, another really a classic. It's Valve, so I gotta I gotta like it. I I like everything that Valve does. Um, oh, I know uh, the Stardew Valley. The Stardew Valley yeah. multiplayer yeah. update. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. We're gonna have online multiplayer in Stardew Valley in like weeks. Yes. It was supposed to come out at the end of 2017 for Christmas, but it was delayed because there are your bug fixes. I'm glad that they do the thing like old school. Like now, when the game are not delayed anymore, they release it that when they're not finished. Yeah. It's like, yeah, hey, early access and uh, no. uh, yeah, uh, or, or sometimes they don't. No, not the early access. Sometimes Ooh. they just uh, oh, that's the Fun game. Day. <laughs> and, and, uh, Shitty day. Yeah, yeah. So uh, never pre-order games. That's absolutely stupid. I mean, I did it for Pokemon Sun and Moon. But it's different. Yeah, it's, it's uh, an Nintendo game. It's really game. reputable, and mm. uh, so. Uh, but yeah, most of the time you should probably not pre-order games. And Stardew Valley multiplayer update is coming soon, and players can marry other players online. Sorry. <laughs> Still not sure about this. <laughs> you have to be. You have to be really convincing. Okay, I'm gonna prepare a speech. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds I'm good still to not me. married in the game, but he's. So, um... Oh, I, 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 I divorced recently. Really? Yeah, I divorced. Oh my god, you divorced! Oh, you divorced! Yeah, well, I was with her for like a whole year, so I, oh got, my god. So I got bored. <gasps> and your children? Uh, I still have them. Okay. I'm gonna try to sell them to the witch. Oh my god, you're a monster! If I can, but if I can't, I'm just gonna keep them. I don't know, uh, I got the achievement. Because uh, if you have a wife and, and two kids, you have a, an ach achievement. So I don't need the kids anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna marry you, actually. Ha! Wow, think about it. Mm, twice, I don't want to be sold to a yeah, witch. Though I, 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 I do have a lot of uh, pigs and, and, <laughs> and ducks, and I'm making a lot of money with that shit. <laughs> Good so, for uh, you. Yeah, and I've got a lot of, of trees with with a uh, really great. Fr I'm, I'm I'm making great fruits. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, well, I have I'm, a big house with lots of money. I am friends with everyone. Um, I'm getting there. Still hard with some people like Haley, for example. Haley is cool when you. When you get to know her. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she reminds me a bit too much of Regina George from Mean Girls. But uh, it's the um, 
only surface level part. The surface level. Yeah. Okay. What I what I really want to do in in 2018 is becoming good at fishing in Stardew Valley, because <laughs> you know the difficulty of games. You got Dark Souls, <laughs> then you got Super Meat Boy, then you got the first Sonic. Mm. Then you got getting uh, over it. <laughs> getting over it with Bennett Fuddy. Then you have Cat Mario. Then you have I Want to Be the Guy, which is probably <laughs> the hardest video game ever made. And then you have fishing in Stardew Valley. And I'm so good at fishing in Stardew Valley. Like I'm really good at fishing. Well, you you not bad. Do you have the legendary fish? Uh, no, I think I'm, I I don't. Yeah, so yeah. But like, I'm, really good. I'm so it's so difficult. It's so difficult. I finished Dark Souls three times, and I, and I cannot fish in Stardew Valley. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Anyway, that's about it for uh, this video. Well, no, well, if you made it <laughs> to this point, you are officially cool. And yes. thanks, and, and you subscribe. you should subscribe. Yeah. And subscribe to his Patreon. Yeah, please. If you watch. Like you watch to this point, you, you should. Have to subscribe. Yeah, you 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 got it. You got it. <laughs> you got it. You're part of the family now. And uh, more rats in 2018 or not? More rats or not? Uh, That's a big question. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Probably yeah. not. Uh, we have too much. Maybe if we have a lot of deaths. And I hope not. And I hope not. Really, uh, we will have to. But. Most of our rats are in great health. I mean, six of them are are really healthy and and really really good. So uh, six is still it's a better number. It's still good. Hmm. I mean, I, I I would say that it's the ideal amount of rats. Uh, five <gasps> five or six. It's the ideal amount. I'm sorry. For... Maybe we don't start talking about the rats because it's <laughs> we're never gonna finish it. So. Not, we're not gonna buy rats in 2018. That's it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks. See you really soon. <laughs> Bye. Peace. <laughs>